Ag AM in Kansas is brought to you in part by SureCrop, liquid crop nutrition delivered right to your farm. Hello, I'm Sam Capone, and today we're at the American Royal in Kansas City at the Our Town, Our Food Convention, and I'm here with Joe Bickelmeyer, and Joe, you're the owner of Bickelmeyer Meats, which is actually located pretty close to the American Royal. We're right across the river on the Kansas side. So tell us a little bit about your company and what you talked about today at the convention. Well, Bickelmeyer Meats is a family-owned business owned by my brother Jim, myself, my wife, and our son Matt. And we're vertically integrated to Bickelmeyer Land and Cattle, a working cattle ranch about 60 miles southwest of Kansas City, where we have a cow-calf operation and we work a lot of those cattle into our meat company ultimately and sell the beef that's uh, derived from those animals. What are kind of some differences that you've seen in terms of the grass-fed and then the grain-fed? Well, obviously, there are two different categories of beef. The grass-fed is, is uh, consistent with some people's wishes as to what they prefer to eat, and we respect that. We process a lot of grass-finished beef for the people that raise them. We also process and sell a lot of grain-finished beef, and we supply our counter with cattle from the grain-finished beef category. Now, what's the importance of having both aspects for Bickelmeyer Meats? Well, number one, it gives people a choice. Uh, we're blessed in this country to be able to have choices, and we offer those choices and let the consumer pick what they, they choose, and we respect that. Now, you kind of said in your speech um, a quote from a KU doctor about the hormones in implanted beef. Can you tell me a little bit about that quote? His comment was one individual would have to eat a box carload of liver to have the negative effects of a beef implant. And number one, nobody's going to eat a boxcar load of liver. No, no human that I know of is going to ever do that. And I don't know that scientific studies have ever actually proven the disadvantages of eating beef from an implanted animal. So finally, I wanted to ask you a little bit about the changes that you've seen since you've become part of the Bickelmeyer Meats process. Our clientele has changed dramatically over time. Uh, we have people from multiple ethnicities that shop at our market. So we're very diverse in our clientele base and for that reason, we're able to sell virtually anything and everything that we produce and have to buy more of it. Appreciate the opportunity. You're welcome. Thanks for joining us. Earlier in my life, I rode bucking horses and rodeos, and my shoulders took such a beating, and that was probably the reason for having several previous surgeries on both shoulders. About a year ago, I decided that I didn't want to have another surgery, and so I contacted Kansas Regenerative Medicine, took their treatment process. It was relatively pain-free. Now, after eight months, my shoulders have healed to the point where I think I'm probably 90 to 95 percent of normal. It takes a couple of months to start to see results with stem cell injections, but at about three to three and a half months, I started to, to feel better. I started to have less pain and feel real progress. That continued to increase gradually until now at approximately eight months, and I'm extremely pleased. I've got full range of motion. I can lift weights, I can throw, I can do uh, a lot of things that uh, I couldn't do without a lot of pain previously.